how is it going thanks for stopping by you guys thanks for checking out my video on the left here we've got the grand forest brooks small forest axe on the right we have the cold steel trail boss i have videos of both these axes alone and doing their own thing and the grand forest brooks we all know this is just an awesome great great axe a little small but awesome now they do make a bigger one called the Scandinavian Forest Axe, which is a little bigger of a handle and a little bigger of a head. Um, but it's, it's expensive and I want to go a cheaper route and see how cold steel is. And uh, I have some of their products and they're, they're not bad for the price, you get what you pay for. Sometimes you get a little better quality than other times, kind of depends on uh, nearly what you're getting. Some, some things are better than others so far, they're pocket knives. Um, and uh, uh, stuff like that. They're, they're smaller blades for cold steel. Awesome. Really nice. They're bigger products. Mm, I don't know. I have one of their tomahawks. It's iffy. Um, I have one of their machetes. Also a little iffy. That one I have yet to f thoroughly test and get any videos out there. So if you want to see some of those videos, maybe I'll get them out there for you guys. But uh, back to what we got here. I'm going to do a little side by side, head to head competition, so to speak, here of the trail boss versus the forest axe. So without any further talking and bull crapping around, let's get to it. Now the log behind the axes is what I'm gonna be chopping on. It's uh I believe it's uh what the hell? Um buckthorn or uh what's the other one? There's uh something else like that. Hawthorn. It's one of those. It's either buckthorn or hawthorn. Not a hundred percent sure. The thorn tree bush of some kind. And uh, we're going to try to chop her down. We're just going to do a 10 chop test. That's usually what most uh, test videos I've watched on the, ve on the vehicles, <laughs> on these axes, uh, on the people do. So let's, uh, let's check it out. I'm going to start off with uh, the Grand Forest Brooks. And uh, we're going to go to the Cold Steel. Uh, if you want the specs on these, look at other videos because that's just, they're all over the place. I mean, Grand Forest Brooks is a 19 inch handle with a pound and a half head, I believe. And the, uh, what the heck, the Trail Boss by Cold Steel is, a, I think, a 23 inch handle. And it has a two pound head, I believe. Or maybe it's a pound and a half also. Not 100%. But yeah, there's specs out there. If, if you really are looking for that, this is the wrong video. This is a test video be showing what these things could do in action head to head I bought the cold steel because I wanted a little bit of a bigger handle and uh, if you watch my other videos on the cold steel uh, the first test run I actually had to re freaking fit the head and it's just just a big mess all kinds of stuff um, so it's actually more like a 22 inch handle now because I had to take some off of the head here so I'll quickly show you Them X head and the eye hole is too big for the handle, so it slid down. So I had to knob it off and pound her down and seat her, and then, uh, yeah, hook it back up together my way. So let's test these sons of guns. First, uh, let me make sure that's not going to go nowhere. First, we'll test out the small forest axe. Now, I've sharpened both of these axes, so to the best of my sharpening abilities, these are both very sharp. So they should be pretty equal in that range. Uh, this is no longer a factory edge. The cold steel has no longer a factory edge. But let's start off right here for the, the trail the trail boss. <laughs> the forest axe. And then we'll, we'll go over here for the trail boss. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on. Let me move this out of the way here. And trail boss off in the way. And uh, we do two-handed hits with both axes. So let's get her going here, huh? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I'm pretty freaking accurate, so 
that will show right there let me uh grab you guys off the, the stand we got you here yeah okay I, I know snapchat has stopped i don't care about snapchat and stopping boop, boop, boop. there's our grand forest brooks 10 chops now i could have uh moved the the hits a little bit around and probably chunked her out a little better but i'm going for accuracy 10 chops so that's what we're doing hopefully uh the trail boss will uh technically it should look a little better you'd think because uh it's a bigger bigger axe no i can't get my camera to sit back where i had it that's weird all right that works for me Trail Boss. It's got a bigger blade, bigger handle. So you think it should do more damage. We'll go right about here. One. Two. Oh, well, we're, we're losing ground. That's the one thing I've noticed about this uh, Trail Boss. It sticks really well and just so much that it's actually hard to get out. I am starting to take off some of this coating on there. I took a little bit of uh, thinner to it, paint thinner and stuff to try to remove it, but it's a stubborn finish. Anyway, back to what we're doing. So that two, three, four, four, and we're losing, let me start finishing down here. Five. Seven. Eight. And one. And a two, and we'll call it ten there. Well, let me bring you guys in. That's the trail boss. Nice, nice deep cut there. There's the forest axe. Now, you might be saying, well, Jordan, or not Jordan, Cracky. <laughs> Jordan's my real name, now you know. But, but the, the cuts you made were a little bit different. The, the Grand Forest Brooks, I feel you got, you, uh, you shorted it a little bit with uh, your accuracy, which might be true, but for overall depth and just swinging strength, the trail boss gets it, man. That longer handle, wider uh, cutting edge, or longer cutting edge, she, uh, she does the trick. I mean, just look at that, compared to that. It's all about the, the length of the blade, and then that extra handle gives you a lot more oomph in the hit. So, the winner of that one is the Trail Boss. Now, would I say they're equal? No, they're not equal. That's way better quality. This is way cheaper. <laughs> you will see that when you buy them. You can put them side by side and tell quality over quantity. A lot of quantity goes over here, a lot more quality goes over there. But that longer handle, a little bit heavier of a head, longer blade, just does a lot more work, which is why I bought the cold steel. Also, you can bang this thing around and drop it, you know, whatever, pull out of the river, whatever, whatever's going on. It, you know, not the big of a deal when it's a $30 axe. $120 axe, you want to take care of a little more but yeah thanks for watching and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh quick little video of the head to head of these these two guys thanks again and uh yeah stay tuned for more